Welcome to live interactive English, everyone. I am Mike, and I am Rainbow. And today, Rainbow, we're going to begin a story featuring you. Yes, it is featuring me. Kind of, kind this is of. where my name comes from. Well, you will find of. out. Yeah, we'll find out. We don't want to spoil it. But we're going to be reading Noah's Ark over the next two days. And for those of you who don't know, and there might be some out there, Noah's Ark is what、mm -hmm. we would call a Bible story. Yes. Yes. yes, and a Bible is something that you may read if you are a Christian or you、mm. go to a church. But there are many amazing Bible stories that、mm. are not just Noah's Ark. I will tell you my favorite one. Okay. My favorite one is the one that tells you how the Earth was created. Ah, the creation story、yes. from also from this part of the Bible. Yes, from the first、mm -hmm. book, and、mm -hmm. it tells you what happened every single. Day Monday、mm. to Sunday. It has a special meaning, and something different was made each day. There you go. And of course, at the end, we end up with humans in the form of the very well-known Adam and Eve、yes. in the garden, and everything was lovely. But then things got complicated. Now, a lot of these stories, the creation story, Noah's Ark,、uh, Samson and the lion. Oh, or, sorry, the long、uh, hair. Samson with the long and hair. And Delilah. Daniel and the Lions, then、yeah. Sam.、Uh, sorry, Jonah, who goes into the belly the of the whale. whale. These are from the first part of what we call. The Bible, that book, that's the Old Testament for、yes. those of you who don't know. And then the Christian Bible has another part, a smaller part, called the New Testament, and well, that's、Jesus. where we get all the Jesus stories,、yeah. like the Christmas story and Jesus turning water into wine and all that stuff. But the older book, the Old Testament, is important for Christians as well as Jewish people. It is.、Right? They also look at that. That's where this story of Noah's Ark. Comes from. So now it's time to learn all about it. We're gonna meet Noah, his family, a big boat, lots of animals, and, and a end, rainbow. A rainbow. rainbow. Not this rainbow, but a rainbow. Let's get to it. A long time ago, the world seemed hopeless. People were greedy. They fought and they stole. This made God upset. He decided to get rid of all of the evil in the world with a huge flood. All right, so Noah's Ark is the famous name of this story.、I'm、not sure what part of the Bible this is from, but it's definitely in there in the Old Testament. And Noah is the person we will meet, and the Ark is something he will create. But let's go back to the beginning and find out why Noah. Had to make an ark. Yeah, which we'll also find out what that is—an ark. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The story says a long time ago the world seemed hopeless. Oh dear, a long time ago. It was ago. a terrible place. It was. Not that different from now, you know. Well. People were greedy.、Mm. They fought、Ooh. and they stole.、Aww. Not that different from now.、Mm. Greedy is an adjective used to describe a person who wants to have a lot. Now today we might think of that as money, but back in the day, you don't just have to be greedy for money. You could want a lot of crops. You can want a lot of animals for yourself. You can want a lot of land. You can want a lot of children. You want so many, 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 many things. And you never feel like it is enough. So greedy isn't just wanting something; it's wanting too much of something and being hungry for more than you need. So that's considered very bad. I have a sentence for you: The greedy businessman wanted more money than he needed. It was not enough. And sometimes, what happens with greedy people is that they have something, but they don't feel like it's enough, so they want to take somebody else. Else's things they want to steal. That's right. Being greedy is seen as a not good part of your personality. We also might very much connect it to being selfish,、oh, right? Yeah, totally. Taking more than you need and not letting other people have even a little. Yes, and sometimes if greedy people can't get things by following the law, they might break the law and just take those things. And yeah, if you they take. Don't ask. That's right. If you take something that you're not allowed to take, 
If you take something that doesn't belong to you, you are breaking the law. You are stealing that thing. So to steal something is basically to take something that is not yours, and you don't have the permission of the person who owns it. If I take something and it's yours, and you let me take it, then I could say I am borrowing this thing, or giving it, or to giving you. it to someone.、Yeah. You can just give it, so it is now theirs. But if I sneak in, if I take it when you're not looking, or if I try to use violence, give me your money, or I'll punch you, or something Ooh, like that.、Bad. That is to steal, and of course, it is not good. It's something we're taught not to do as kids, and it's something we will get in trouble with the law and the police. If we do it, for example, the thief stole a bike, but he was caught by the police. Notice there, we're using the past tense of the word "steal." It's not a regular verb. It's not "stealed."、No. It's the irregular form "stole."、Oh, so he stole the bike. All right. So people were greedy. The world was very unhappy, and everything was not good. This, the story continues. This made God upset. God was unhappy that so many people in the world were, were behaving so badly. So what did God do? He decided to get rid of all of the evil in the world. With a huge flood. Ooh, and what is a flood? It is something that is going to be rain. That's too much rain that covers the land and destroys everything. In Taiwan, we would think of Na Li Typhoon. That was a long time ago when I was small, where the flood was so big that the water went up to my knees.、Wow. And I remember that we had a basement, and the piano was damaged in the basement.、Oh. No. And we tried to have somebody swim in there to save something, but it was all destroyed. So a flood is huge, huge rain that overloads the land and makes everything broken, like damaged. All the crops, all the land, all the animals. Non-stop rain would cause a flood. This is considered a natural disaster and very scary for people because they would lose their homes. My town was badly damaged by a flood last month, so I guess I couldn't go back then. I have to move、mm, somewhere else. Too much rain, or maybe a typhoon comes along and pushes the ocean water onto the land where it shouldn't go, and suddenly things that should be dry are very wet and、yep. often underwater. All right, we'll take a break and find out what happens when God brings a flood to rid the world of evil. Destroy everything. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这一次要读的是 Noah's Ark， 诺亚方舟。那这个故事是出自旧约圣经。我们来补充一下 ，Ark 这个字呢，它就是指圣经中的方舟。那么 The Old Testament 就是指旧约圣经。而这个故事一开始写到说，在很久以前，世界似乎毫无希望，人们很贪婪，会打架，而且会偷窃。那这让上帝很不高兴，他决定要用一场大洪水来消灭世界上所有的邪恶。好，单字 greedy。Greedy， 它是形容词，形容贪心的、贪婪的。那么 ，steal，steal 表示偷窃，那它是动词，它的动词三态是 steal、stole、stolen。再看到 flood。Flood 当名词，它表示洪水、水灾。那么也可以当动词来表达淹没、使淹没的意思。那这边一个重点，我们进入文法时间。这边我们来学习 make 加受词加受词补语，这表示使什么什么成为、变成怎么样。Make 在这边它是指使成为、使变成。那么受词补语我们可以用到名词或是形容词。来造两个例句 ：The song made him a household name。那首歌使他成为家。家喻户晓的人 ，the comment made her angry。那则评论让她很生气。好，那我们接下来课文中。God didn't want everyone and everything to die, though. He would need humans and animals in the world after the flood. So he told Noah, a good moral man, to build an ark. This ark would be much bigger than any other ship in the world. God gave Noah clear instructions on how he should build the ark, so Noah started working. His neighbors all laughed at him, but he would always tell them that he was doing what God asked of him. After many years, the ark was completed. 
Noah then rounded up two of every animal on the earth, one male and one female, so that they could have babies after the flood. As the sky darkened, the animals entered the ark two by two, along with Noah and his family. It was time for them to leave the old world behind. All right, so people in the world are doing terrible things. Everyone is being evil and selfish and greedy. greedy. God is unhappy, so he's going to punish、Die. everyone by bringing lots of rain and creating a flood to sort of wipe out all the evil on the earth. But here we go back to our story, and it says God didn't want everyone and everything to die. Though, of course, when you bring a flood. You're basically putting the ocean on the land, and if you can't swim, you're going to be in big trouble, and many, many, many people would die. But God didn't want everyone to die, though. He would need humans and animals in the world after the flood. That makes sense. Yeah, I guess so.、Oh, yeah. So he told Noah, a good moral man, to build an ark. He kind of picked one of his people on Earth. This guy Noah. Noah had a small family,、Just、and he was one good person. A good, honest person, yeah, you know, a nice、right. guy, not a greedy,、no. evil guy. So God sort of decided to save Noah and、mm-hmm. his family, and to get Noah to build an ark. This ark would be much bigger than any other ship in the world.、So、yeah, now、arc. we don't ever call that an ark. Well, no, it might be in the name of something, like some ship,、uh, like there's a British ship called the Ark Royal. Okay.、Um, but it's kind of an old. Old, old word for a really big really, really, boat, really, really a really big. big ship, and part of that is because it's such a famous Bible story.、Mm. But he believed Noah was a good guy or a moral man.、Mm. And a person who is moral、mm. means he has good morals. Ha!、Huh? That is going to be a noun. So a moral person behaves in the right way. For example, he doesn't lie, he doesn't cheat, he doesn't steal. He's not mean to other people. He is kind. We think of being moral as doing the right thing and being a good person. Kristen always tried to be. Behave in a moral way, and we all should too. Living on this earth, so Noah was a moral man, and God chose him to be the one that would survive him and his family. The article says God gave Noah clear instructions on how he should build the ark. So Noah started working. Him and all of his family members, his neighbors all laughed at him, but he would always tell them that he was doing what God. Asked of him, so obviously it's very strange for a man to be building a big boat, saying that God's going to destroy the land for no reason. So people thought he was crazy, but he continued to build, and of course it would take a very long time to build such a big ship from nothing. Absolutely, nothing bigger than that had ever been built.、Yeah. Certainly not a ship, and it took a long time. After many years, the ark was completed. So it took him many years to build this large ship. It was three hundred cubits、oh, by fifty cubits by thirty cubits. Now a cubit is a measurement from the Bible, and actually it was used back then. This is a cubit. It's the distance from the tip of your middle finger to your elbow. Is that、so、about, kind of like a foot?、So、about half a meter, one and a half feet. Okay. About half a meter. Okay. So it was three hundred of those long, fifty of these wide, and thirty of these high. Big, in other words. After many years, the ark was completed. Noah then rounded up two of every animal on the earth. One male and one female, so that they could have babies after the flood. There would be his family there to make more people, and then he had to kind of create a giant floating zoo,、yeah. so that after the flood went away, the world would still have all these animals. Of course, he can't collect all the animals, so he was smart. He collected. Two of each: a boy animal, a girl animal, to make more babies for the future. Yeah. Interesting plan. Interesting plan, and probably a good plan because they have to make more babies after the flood. Because he knew everything would be destroyed. 
As the sky darkened, the animals entered the ark two by two, along with Noah and his family. I guess if the sky is darkening, the rains are coming, and the flood yeah. will be there soon.、Yeah. So now's the time that、oh, uh, that Noah has been preparing for. For years,、and、the animals all knew it was time for them to leave the old world behind,、mm. and it was going to be very, very different from here on because it was all going away. That's very scary. It is、sad. super scary, and it takes a lot of faith. Yeah, absolutely. I also think about all the people who are going to die. And it's like people you know,、arrive. you know. No, very sad. What、That's、a terrible、sad. time.、Yeah. All right. Well, this is the end of our story for today, but we will have the conclusion. To Noah and his Ark adventure tomorrow. So please come back and join us for that. Come back soon. <音楽>刚刚说到，上帝决定用一场大洪水来消灭世界上所有的邪恶。不过呢，他并不想让所有的人事物都死亡。在洪水过后，他会需要世界上的人类和动物。因此，他告诉一位有道德的好人 Noah， 要他建一艘方舟。那这艘方舟要比世界上任何其他船都大得多。那么，上帝有给他清楚的指示该如何打造，所以 Noah 就开始进行了。我们先来看看单字 moral。moral 它当形容词是形容有道德的、品性端。端正的，或者是道德上的，那这个字也可以当名词来表达道德、道德规范或者是品性。那么 ，Mike 老师刚刚在描述方舟的大小时，他有用到古代的一种测量长度单位是 cubit， 那它是拼作 c u b i t。这个单位啊，它指的是手肘到中指之间的长度。那老师还用到 measurement 这个名词，就是在 measure 后面加上 m e n t。那这个名词它表示测量，测量结果。好，那故事接着写到说 ，Noah 的邻居都嘲笑他，但是他总是会跟邻居说，他正在做上帝要求他做的事。那么多年后，方舟完成了 ，Noah 接着找来地球上的每一种动物，各两只，一公一母，这样他们在洪水过后才能够繁衍后代。那随着天色变暗，动物群两两的进入方舟，连同 Noah 还有他的家人也进入了。那这就是他们离开旧世界的时候了。这边有三个重点，我们要进入文法时间。好，那我们来看第一个重点是 so that 主词加动词，这表示以便怎么样，为了怎么样。so that 在这边是引导表示目的的副词子句，这个 that 可以省略。举例来说 ，He took a day off。So that he could prepare for the competition, 或是 so he could prepare for the competition. 他请了一天假，以便能为比赛做准备。那一个延伸学习是 so that 引导的子句，它的主词跟主要子句的主词相同时，我们可以把它改成 so as to， 再加原形动词。所以刚刚的例句就可以改成 He took a day off so as to prepare for the competition. 好，那么第二个重点是 it is time， 或是 it was time for somebody to 加原形动词。这样的句型常常用来提出建议或提醒，表示该是某人做某事的时候了，或者是某人该怎么样怎么样了。例如 ，It's time for you to turn off your computer and go to bed。你该关掉电脑去睡觉喽。第三个重点是 leave something behind 或者 leave somebody behind， 这表示抛下、撇下某人事物，不带走、不留恋的意思。像是 they left their furniture behind when they moved， 他们搬家时留下了家具，都没有带走。好，那么以上这些讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。A long time ago, the world seemed hopeless. People were greedy. They fought and they stole. This made God upset. He decided to get rid of all of the evil in the world with a huge flood. God didn't want everyone and everything to die, though. He would need humans and animals in the world after the flood. So he told Noah, a good moral man, to build an ark. This ark would be much bigger than any other ship in the world. God gave Noah clear instructions on how he should build the ark, so Noah started working. His neighbors all laughed at him, but he would always tell them that he was doing what God asked of him. After many years, the ark was completed. 
Noah then rounded up two of every animal on the earth, one male and one female, so that they could have babies after the flood. As the sky darkened, the animals entered the ark two by two, along with Noah and his family. It was time for them to leave the old world behind. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. My favorite actor has been canceled. What is show got canceled? No, not that kind of canceled. He has been canceled because of some controversial remarks he made. Now everyone is unfollowing him on social media. Oh, that's unfortunate. <sighs> that's Who not fair. It's this guy right here. Oh, that guy. Do you remember him from the movies? Yeah. <sighs> Hi everyone, today's term is canceled. Yes, and it doesn't mean to cancel a meeting or a television show. Exactly, in the context of social media and pop culture. To cancel someone means to stop supporting them or their work. This often involves unfollowing them on social media or otherwise distancing oneself from the person or their work. This usually happens when the person has done something offensive or distasteful. In recent years, cancel culture has become a popular movement that holds public figures accountable for their actions. That's right. For instance, if a celebrity makes a racist comment, they might be canceled by the public. Or if a company is found to be polluting the environment, people might cancel it by boycotting its products. Yes, cancel culture is a way for people to express their disapproval and take a stand against problematic behavior. However, it's also important to remember that everyone makes mistakes and to allow space for growth and understanding. Absolutely, Shane. And that's all for today. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.